are following some breaking news out of Miami Beach. Police have just about 10 minutes ago tweeted out that there's been a shooting near 6th Street and Collins Avenue. A new polling out today on his job performance and of course he's responding. Haitians living right here in South Florida held a protest outside the immigration office. And keep in mind this is the first time we're actually seeing this alleged sexual assault victim since these allegations came to light. At least four people killed when wild weather rolled in. And this is one of the tornadoes that struck outside of Dallas. They were left stranded because the system was literally falling apart. Neighbors say they saw a body on the ground in broad daylight. We've all been waiting to hear the answer. Who will be the host alongside Kelly Ripa. This wasn't the first time he had had an inappropriate relationship with a minor and based on other statements he released to detectives on the scene. It may not be his last. Hundreds of migrants were saved at sea after their boat started sinking in the middle of the Mediterranean. And in Caracas, we are learning the voting process was interrupted. Working to prove this man was obsessed, this man was jealous and a liar who ultimately murdered his wife. Wild weather in Pennsylvania, flash floods, washing out roads, forcing some people to swim to safety. Have you purchased one of these yet? You still have time if you haven't. Back to you guys. Oh, you, you, did so well. you better be careful or they're going to cast in the sea. I know. Goodness, might be some money in that, Kurt. Great. We'll tell you where this happened. Good evening, South Florida. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Just a matter of days. A new FBI director is expected to be announced before the president takes off for his first overseas trip since taking office. Now to the ongoing diplomatic crisis between the United States and North Korea. North Korean officials say the ballistic missile that was tested over the weekend can carry a nuclear warhead. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised this launch. The missile flew about 450 miles off the eastern coast and landed into the Sea of Japan. Now, as a result of all of this, the White House is calling for all nations to implement far stronger sanctions against North Korea. Crews in southwest Florida are working to knock down a large brush fire that is burning 3,500 acres. This was the scene in Northport, about 30 miles just south of Sarasota. First responders could be seen using helicopters to drop water on the flame. Tonight, a 13-month-old boy is lucky to be alive after being pulled from a pool. This happened yesterday in the Twin Lakes gated community in southwest Miami-Dade. Paramedics arrived on scene and found him unresponsive. Of. They did perform CPR and rushed the child to the hospital. We are told he is breathing and in fair condition. A fit of road rage in full effect after a shouty match over littering ended with one man getting run over by a car in Beverly Hills. The whole thing caught on camera. Check it out. The video shows two women inside a car arguing with another man. They then circle around him a few times. The confrontation got so heated at one point the man started rolling shopping carts into their car. The driver responds by slamming into the man, pinning him against a wall. Or you could call it a coincidence, maybe a little luck in this case, but we were just doing our job. We were parked and we noticed a child that fit the description on this flyer walking our way. Who knew, though, it would be this 10 year old missing boy. Are you Imari? You are? Yes, our local 10 news crew found a missing child. We were sitting in a car contemplating our next move of the day when we look up and notice a kid walking towards us. That's him. It was Imari Bell. The 10 year old was reported missing Tuesday night. When we realized it was him, I immediately called his mother. Is this Tony? This is Cheyenne, the reporter that was at your house. We have your son. Our news crew waited with Imari until mom and grandma showed up. I saw you over there. I, I, take, I told him I think I saw you. Why you ran? Imari told them he ran away because he was being bullied. What happened? Huh? You. Something his father says he was unaware of. Um, he said that he had been bullied and that he um, had spent the night in like a trailer. So do you know any of trailer nearby or anything that that could have been? No. Detectives questioned the 10 year old and ultimately determined Imari was a runaway. Either way, his family glad to have their little boy back home. I feel relief, a lot better. And just moments ago, his father actually took him out to dinner. He tells me that he wanted to have a talk with Imari to get to the bottom of what happened, why he ran away. At the end of the day, though, this family glad that this missing flyer is no longer needed. Reporting live in Miami Gardens, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News. 
I have never seen anything like this. High profile attorney Gloria Allred alongside her client Erica Berg. It's the first time the alleged sexual assault victim has come forward in public since accusing pro football Hall of Famer Michael Irvin of sexual abuse, an allegation he denied from the start. Nothing happened, period. There was no sexual contact whatsoever. The state attorney's office ultimately determining no charges would be pursued. Just last week, the office releasing a closeout memo detailing why. So the state makes reference to the victim's inconsistent statements, yet they fail to include the many inconsistent statements of Michael Irvin. The memo was released publicly, and that's what Allred has a problem with. I mean, ordinarily, a prosecutor's office will say we don't find sufficient evidence, but they don't go into the kind of detail that I just described. Details such as the cocaine, ecstasy, Xanax, and Adderall found in Berg's system. The most obvious and egregious example was the inclusion of Ms. Berg's medical condition and the details of her toxicology screen. All red fears the actions of the state attorney's office releasing private information like this may prevent other victims from coming forward in the future. That Erica Berg is here with me today because she wants to protect future potential victims of drugging and rape. Well, Allred clearly not happy about how the situation was handled. She also told us in that news conference today that she wrote a letter to the state's attorney's office telling them that they should warn potential victims that if they do come forward with information like her client did, they could face some consequences, including personal information being revealed. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News.